Hey, what's up guys? My name is Liam from Worldwide Cyclery. Today we're gonna to be looking at four of our favorite Enduro full face helmets. These helmets have come a long way in the last couple years, so much so some of them are even light as half shells. We're gonna be going over the details, specs, why they're different and why they're our favorites. So the helmet is not something that you ever wanna skimp on. You never think you're gonna fall, you never think you're gonna hit your face, but you know, you do. So wearing these helmets, as our bikes get bigger and we go down more downhill oriented trails, wearing a full face helmet isn't the worst option out there. Uh, there's a lot of different options with these from ventilation, looks, fit, and also the eatability factor. Not sure what the eatability factor is? Well, we're gonna show you and why these helmets are good or bad at all of these above. First up, we have the 100% Trajecta helmet. This helmet comes in at $250. It has 24 vents, which are more than enough to keep you cool while riding. While this helmet comes in at 860 grams and is the heaviest of this group of four, it is much lighter than your standard full face helmet that you'd be normally wearing. This helmet has a D-ring style closure that's more like a traditional full face helmets. And as far as size, there's only two helmet molds, but four sizes from small, medium, large, and XL with the small and medium and the large and XL sharing the same shell mold. One of the favorite things about the 100% helmet for me was how well the fit was on my head and I was super comfortable wearing this helmet all day at the bike park or shuttling laps with my friends. And now we're going into the eatability test. So for test number one, we're doing the ho-ho test. Ho-hos are a great snack on a ride, nice little flavor. We're gonna try it first with a Trajecta helmet. Yep, going in the, the long ways and I get a solid bite. Moving into the banana test. Bananas are also great snacks on rides. You can often find me eating bananas while on a ride. So definitely wanna try the banana, get those through the face plate. The Trajecta helmet is a pass. Not a problem with the banana for that one. So good going in for a second bite. Mm -hmm. Last, the 7-Eleven burrito test. You ever had a 7-Eleven burrito? Mm. Yeah, I didn't really want any of these to pass just because I didn't want to eat that burrito. Doesn't work first try on the trajectory. Get a full blowout. I don't know what I'm thinking trying to go in twice, but that's gonna be a no for the Trajecta. Next is the TLD Stage Helmet, coming in at $295. This helmet has 24 vents, just like the 100% Trajecta, but the weight is down to 690 grams. It also features the MIPS system with an adjustable visor that is infinitely adjustable with the range it has. The buckle system is the Fidlock magnetic buckle, and there is three sizes of helmets, three shell molds, and each helmet size comes with three sets of cheek pads and neck pads. There is also an extra liner for pads when you get all sweaty, and a drawstring bag to take it on your travels with you. One of my favorite things about the TLD helmet is the looks and the size of the shell is very minimalistic and looks very well while you're riding on your bike. And now, the eatability test. Going in the TLD stage helmet. Big opening, not a problem for the ho-ho test. I get solid by it, loving it. Going in for a second bite, I got room to spare, so that's good news. TLD stage, big old opening, not a problem for the stage. Doesn't even think twice. Moving into the TLD stage helmet. It's been pretty good so far. Let's see how it fares with the 7-Eleven burrito. It's going in, it gets through the face plate. I get a little nibble right there. Our third helmet is also the newest to hit the market, the IXS Trigger Full Face. Priced at $249, this helmet is also the lightest in our test, around 600 grams. There's 25 large vents, which makes this a super breathable helmet one of the most breathable in the test. 
One-piece EPS mold that also incorporates an X-frame around the front cage of the helmet and around the ears to help improve protection. One of the features of the IXS helmet that makes it different from the rest is the dial-adjusted fit, much like your half-shell helmet. This helps improve comfort and wearability while riding on long climbs. It is also held in place on your chin by a Fidlock buckle, and there's two sizes to choose from, a small medium and a large extra large. As mentioned, I think the IXS trigger happens to be one of the most comfortable for all day wearing. I think that is from the dial adjust fit in the back. It just feels like your half shell while pedaling. And now we're going into the eatability test. No, just a little too small. I get a little bit in my mouth, but it's not really gonna work. That's a no. The IXS trigger helmet with the banana. IXS trigger failed the ho-ho test. Let's see how it does with the banana. Going in for the approach. Shaving it down a bit, but I get a bite. Look at that, perfect fit. A little bit on the faceplate for later. Save that for the top of the climb. Bite number two. Yeah, I like bananas, they're good. IXS trigger has a pretty small one. You know, I give it the old college effort, but uh, that's gonna be a no. Yep, nope, nope, nope. The last in our test, but certainly not the least, the Fox Profane helmet. This was one of the first Enduro full face helmets to hit the market and is extremely light, well ventilated, and has been around for a few years now. It also features the MIPS impact protection system and meets all requirements of CPSC and ATSM as well as all of the other helmets do as well. There are 24 vents on this helmet to keep you extra breathable and there's four sizes to choose from. A small, medium, large, and extra large with each helmet having different cheek pads and neck rolls to help dial in the fit. The Fox Profane features a fixed visor as well as a Fidlock buckle comes with a drawstring bag to take with you on your travels. One of my favorite parts about the Fox Pro Frame helmet is the eatability factor, how big the chin vents are, and what you can fit through those bars. We'll get more into that in just a sec. And now, the eatability test. Last with the Pro Frame helmet. Pro Frame's got a pretty big opening too. I don't see a problem with the ho-ho. We're gonna go in, and yep, 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 that one's good. Loving it, going in for the side jaw. I even get a bite there too. Multiple wins for the pro frame. Pro frame, not a problem either. Eatability's high. Now for the pro frame, I get a big old bite in there. Yep. Pro frame passes. So now I'm gonna quickly rip through some pros and cons of each helmet, what I like and maybe what I dislike. Starting with the IXS, pros, definitely the weight and the lack of it. Um, it is the lightest helmet in the test at 600 grams and I believe that this test helmet came in at 590 grams. Another pro for this helmet is the dial retention fit system. Um, I definitely think this help keep kind of keeps it off your head, keeps it breathable, and it fits much like a half shell. Another pro for this helmet is a Fidlock system and this little pad right here keeps it super comfortable while pedaling all day. Some of the cons for this helmet, the visor is only two positions, so it's fixed here, and then you can pop it up. It's nice for your goggles, but it's only two positions, so maybe you want it in between the two. And uh, other than that, this helmet's pretty good, I dig it. All right, next up on the pros and cons is a TLD stage. Definitely one of the pros, again, is gonna be weight. This helmet is the second lightest in the test. Another pro is the amount of range of uh, fit on this helmet. So it has three cheek pads and three neck pads. Another pro is definitely the MIPS system. So only some of these helmets featuring MIPS. Um, if you're into MIPS, you believe in MIPS, whether you do or not, it has it, so that's a pro to me. Some of the cons, it's the most expensive in the test. 
Um, and also the, the shell size, while it's kind of a pro, but also a con, it's how small it is. Might not be the best looking on you, or it might look better on you depending on the shell size. So that could be a pro or a con, whichever way you like it. Next up, pros and cons, is a Fox Pro Frame. So this helmet, one of the pros is the fit again, um, coming in four sizes and each size having a range of cheek pads and neck pads. So definitely easy to dial in your fit on this helmet and kind of get those individual steps for each helmet or each head and each size of the helmet. Um, another pro is the MIP system again. Uh, this helmet features it, whether you're super into it or not, um, it is there as well as the Fidlock buckle system. So it's comfortable, easy to take on and off. Um, some of the cons of this helmet, fixed visor position. Um, it's not really good for goggles while riding and you might want it up or down depending on how you like it. Fox said they did it for ventilation through the front of the helmet, which it might be, but uh, to me the fixed visor is kind of a bit of a con. Last up is 100% helmet. So pros and cons on this helmet, Definitely the pro on this is how comfortable it is and the fit. Um, I thought this might have been the most comfortable for shuttles and bike parks of all of these helmets. It's super comfortable and secure on your head. So it doesn't really quite feel as light as some of these, but if you're just going for an all-in-one helmet, this is definitely a solid option. Another pro is the, while it doesn't have MIPS, it's an impact protection system that's kind of unique to 100%. It has these little suspension guys in here that help on multiple impacts or sideways impacts. The con on this helmet is it's kind of heavy compared to the other ones. While still being lighter than a traditional full face, it's definitely the heaviest in the pack and uh, you can feel that while you're riding. So now that we've gone through all of this extreme extensive testing, all of them are great options. I kind of want to take them all with me. Let me know in the comments which one you guys would like the most and we'll see you in the next one.